the level display. Let's go over some of the options within the level display to show or not show certain levels inside your DGN file. To get to your level display, let's go ahead and click on this icon that looks like a yellow stack of papers, and that is your level display. Left click on it, and it brings up the level display dialog. We'll briefly go over some of these at the top here, probably the more important ones that we use here at MoDOT. The first one is apply to open views, so if you had different views opened up, maybe like view 1, which is what we have opened right now, or other views, it would apply them to the views that you had opened up. The next one is apply to selected view, which allows you to apply that level that you turn off or turn on to the selected view that you have active. So if you had three views opened up and you want to turn a level off in one view but leave it on in another, you could do that. This right here is your view display, global display, and global freeze. Normally you'll leave it set to view display which just applies it to the active view that you have opened up global display and global freeze deals with your if you're using models where if you do global display it's going to do it to all the models that you have inside your DGN file and then global freeze actually freezes that level to where it won't print out and some other stuff but for the most part since we don't deal with models here at MoDoc We'll just leave it set to view display. This one right here is to change level, and we'll kind of come back to that one, so we're going to skip it for right now. This next one right here is the, is the show target tree, and what that does is it'll show you what reference files that you have attached to your DGN file. If you don't have that icon checked on, it's just going to show you the levels that are being currently used inside this file depending on what filter that you have applied which we're going to come to here in just a second but if you click on that one that says show target tree it'll show you the levels inside this file plus these other reference files that you have attached so you can come in here and maybe turn off a certain level that's on another file that is attached to this sheet this next one right here is your filter types and you have many different filter types that you can look at maybe you just want to show everything that's underneath the bridge division you can click on that filter type and it'll show you just the levels that should be used whenever you're doing bridge projects or um, coordinate sheets coordinate point sheets and so forth probably the more commonly used ones is this one that says all levels which will show you all the levels that can be utilized here at MoDOT just like that or this one right here that says used levels and what this will do is it'll show you just the levels that are being used inside this file or the reference files if you have this icon checked on we're going to leave it set to used levels for right now this next one it says levels and filters just leave it set to levels we're not worried about that and then this last one is your dialogue properties where it has some of the properties of how some stuff should be shown. Most of that right there you shouldn't have to worry about, so we're not really going to go over it. To actually show you how this kind of works, is right now, since we have our filters set to used levels, if I zoom into a certain area inside this drawing here, let's take, for instance, maybe I want to turn off this guardrail. We can do that. Or maybe we want to we turn off something else. If we know what level that we need to turn off, all we would have to do is simply click on that particular level and it will turn off everything that is associated to that level. If I come in here and turn off roadway safety, click on it, it will turn off everything that is associated to that level, which that guardrail was on that level. So it turned that level off. It's still in the file, it just turned everything off that was associated to that level. So if I click it back on, it displays it again. So here's where you can determine what you want to be shown inside this file versus maybe another file. So that's how you can turn off or turn on levels inside your file. Let's take for another example. 
Let's say we did not know what level it's on, but we need to turn it off. And we could easily do that. One way we can do that is if we hover over top of it, as long as we've got our element selection tool active, and if we hover over top of an item, it'll show you what it is, number one, but also to show you what level it's on. And this one here is roadway safety. So all I'd have to do is click on this one that says roadway safety, and it turns it off. Or if I hover over another item, let's say this line right here, maybe my slope limits, I can hover over top of it, and it tells me that it's a line on the level of roadway slope lines. So I can do the same thing. I want to turn that level off, click on it, it's turned off. Turn it back on, just left click on it, and it turns it back on. Now if you, if you come in here, we have this one that's in this green color. That is the active level that's being used right now. So if I double left click on one of these items here, let's say the roadway safety, if I double left click on it, it actually make it the active level, but whenever you have it set to the active level, you can't turn that level off. You can left click on it all you want, it's not going to do anything. So just kind of keep that in mind, if you're trying to turn off a certain level, make sure it's not the active level. If it is the active level and you need to turn that off, easy way to do that is double left click on another one to make it the active level and then you can come back in here and turn off that particular level that you need to turn off. Now let's take for instance we need to turn off these trees. Okay, maybe they're in the way, maybe I need to measure something or I just need to get them out of the way temporarily. I don't want to delete them, I just need to turn them off. Well, of course, I don't know what level they're on, so I'm going to hover over top of it. It tells me what it is, what shape it is, what type of cell. shows me what level it's on, which is photo tree. It also does show me, since this one right here is in a reference file, it's going to show me what the reference file is, where that actual geometry resides at. And this one here is route 33 underscore topo.dgn. So I can come in here and select this one that says route 133 And This one here will show me the levels that are being used inside this particular DGN file versus this one right here. So I can click on it and now I can come in here and select that one that says photo tree. And it turns off everything that's associated to that level inside this particular DGN file. Turn it back on, just left click on it. Now, another thing is, let's say I had no idea what this one was on, but I want to turn it off. I can do that. I can do it a different way also. If you click on this button right here that says change level, it brings up this little dialog box. And you get some options inside here. You got display only, display off, lock or unlock which we're not going to do. Set target or set active, which would make it the active level. We're just going to talk about for this class is this one that says display only and display off. If we leave it set to display off, it'll say down in your status bar, change level, identify element. What element do you want to turn off? Well, if I come in here and select this tree right here, it's going to turn off everything that's on that level. If I left click on it, you'll see that it turns off that level which was photo tree. Maybe this power pole right here, maybe I need to turn it off. I can come in here, identify the element that I need to turn off, and it turns off everything that's associated on that level. And of course if I need to turn them back on, I can go over to my level display, left click on it, and it turns them back on. Another option that you have in here is the display only. And if you click on it, what it will do is it will just display the items that are on the level with the item that you select. If I come in here and I click on this one that says trees, maybe I just want to show the trees and identify it, it'll turn off everything inside this particular reference file but just leave on the one that says photo tree. 
but that's what that option allows you to do. You're seeing more geometry inside this file right here because we have stuff that's underneath this particular reference file, this particular file here, this one here, and also the active file, which is actually contained inside this particular file. If we want to turn them all back on, we can easily do that. We can right click over this area right here, and you still get some options over to the side here where you can do jump to active level, which will jump it to the active level. Create display set, we're not going to worry about that. You got the all on and all off. So if I want to turn them all back on, I can click on the one that says all on, and it will turn on everything that's all the levels being used inside the file. Kind of notice there was a couple in here that was turned off before. This one right here that says photo undefined data line. This one right here, these contour lines will set to the default level. Maybe I want to turn that one off. Or you have the option if you right click over this area again, you have it all off, which will turn off all the levels. Invert, which if you had some that were turned on and some that were turned off and you wanted to invert that set, you could do that. The off by element and all accept element, which were the exact same thing that we did whenever we did the change level, where we did display only and display off these two options right here are the exact same it call actually calls up these tools save filter we're not going to worry about it and then level manager we're gonna we're not going to talk about that here in this section also so that's basically how you use levels in microstation in a mode out work workflow another thing to kind of keep in mind is whenever you have your level filter set to used and you add an item inside here that's not being used yet, used yet it will automatically add that level to your level display so you don't have to worry about trying to come in here and updating it and doing some other stuff it'll automatically add it to that list so that's how levels are utilized here at MODOC and whenever you get your sheets whether you're in construction or you're in design you're going to see certain levels that are turned off and certain levels that are turned on depending on what type of sheet it is. So you may have your master plan sheet that could be referenced to multiple sheets but inside your plan sheet most of those levels that are being used are shown in the, the cut plan sheets but then if it goes back to your traffic control sheets a lot of those levels may be turned off like maybe the guardrail or you know some slope limit lines and stuff like that those may be turned off so it's kind of a way of managing your files also inside MicroStation.